Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the January 2013 Grade 5 6 Contest Question 15, which also came up in the Grade 7 8, 9 10, and 11 12 contests. So the question is In the picture, the total sum of all numbers is 21, and the sum of numbers on each side is 11. If one wants to change numbers but keep the sum of 11 on each side, which total cannot be reached? So when you add up all three sides, you will get 3 times 11 equals 33. This product is larger than 21 because each corner value is added up twice when adding up all three sides. So now what we want to do is to obtain all the possible totals, so we will now introduce these four variables. So t equals the total of all numbers, s equals the sum of all three sides, which we know is 33, c equals the sum of all corners, and m equals the sum of all middle numbers. So we already know one relation between these variables. So we know s, which is the sum of all three sides, equals t, which is the sum of all numbers, plus c, which is the sum of all corners. Now, the reason why we have C added on is because, like I said in the beginning, each corner value is added twice when adding up all three sides. So now we have S equals T plus C. So we know that C cannot be negative, so it must be zero or greater. So to get the largest value of T, we will assume C is zero, so then we will have T equals S. So now, let's check if C equals zero is possible. So that would mean that all corner values are zero. So that means that we must have 11 as each middle value to get 11 in each side. So as we can see here, it works. So we know that the largest value of t is 33. So that means that t is smaller than or equal to 33. So now, now that we have the largest value of t, we will try to find the smallest value of t now. So now let us add m to each side. So here we will have s plus m. And then we will have t plus c plus m. So we know that c plus m is t because all the corner values, like here, that you would add that up to the, all the middle values. And then you have all the numbers added together once. So that would equal to 2t. So now, since we want the smallest value of t, we will start with m being 0. So we know that s is 33, so 33 equals 2t. So t would be 16.5. But we know we cannot have any decimals, so let's make m 1 greater. So 33 plus 1 is 34 equals 2t. So t would equal then 17. So now let's check if 17 works. Since we know m is 1, we would take one middle value as 1 and the other two middle values as 0. So now to obtain 17, we would have 6 at the top. And in these two corners, we would have 5. So here we have 11, 11, and 11. And when you add them up, we have 10, 11, plus 6 is 17. So we know that t is greater than or equal to 17. So we know that any totals below 17 do not work. So we know that 16, which was an option in the question, is the total that cannot be reached. So now I will show how you can obtain all the numbers between 17 and 33 by repeatedly adding 1 to the total each time. So now let's look at a corner value. So let's take 5, for example, and it must be greater than 0. 
Once you decrease 1 from this corner value, that affects both sides. So you must add 1 to this middle value and 1 here to get still 11 in each side. So as soon as you decrease the corner value by 1, it increases the whole total by 1. So you can repeatedly keep on doing this all the way until all corner values are 0, just like as shown here. Then you would have all middle values being 11. So as we can see, 11 plus 11 plus 11 is 33. So we know, as we said here, t is smaller than or equal to 33, and t is greater than or equal to 17. So there, all the possible totals are in between 17 and, and 33. So we know that the six other options, as shown, are all possible because they are all between 17 and 33. So the total that cannot be reached is 16. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at www.brocky.ca slash caribou.